everybody, we are at Springfield Town Center. This is a giant mall that used to be called Springfield Mall here in Springfield, Virginia. And we are here to do some shopping. And also there's a sports collectible show going on here today. That's where I'm going. That's the Dicks. They have 12 cinemas here. That's the parking lot. I actually used to live, I actually used to live around here. And I would go to this mall a lot back when it was still Springfield Mall. And coming here always brings back a lot of memories of those halcyon days of my youth here at Springfield Mall. Springfield Town Center now. Ooh, look at that. It's like a little funnel going around and around. I usually enter through the JC Penny over here, so let's go through the JC Penny and go to the mall. Okay, this is the JC Penny that we go in. Yeah, I usually go to the JC Penny. JC Penny, I think, is going out of business. So let's explore this place while we still can. Oh, they got Christmas music. I hope it doesn't affect my, a copyright strike. Anyway, let's go inside the mall. All right, welcome to Springfield Town Center, everyone. Formerly called Springfield Mall. This place kind of looks like the way it did when it was still Springfield Mall when I would do when I would come here a lot. But it's pretty much all uh, different now and hard to recognize anymore. Anyway, I'm looking for the uh, the place where the sports collectible show is, and also after that I'm going to have lunch at the food court. They have a food court here, and that's where I'm going to have lunch. All right. I don't know where the sports collectible show is. Probably in the courtyard somewhere. Let's go check it out. Uh, let's go this way. To the Starbucks. A lot of people as usual. Here's the big Christmas tree. Look at that. Red foil Christmas tree here at Springfield Town Center. Uh, if I remember correctly. Sales for jewelry and uh, I think the food court is over here. There's a foot locker over there. Still looking for that sports collectible show. I'd like to go to that, to that first before I eat. Well, the website says the show is in uh, the Grand Courtyard. I don't remember there being a Grand Courtyard here. I know there's like a big area over there where the Christmas tree was. I don't know what people are waiting for. Anyway, let's go up the escalator and uh, go up to the Target. There's a Target up there. Welcome all everybody, Springfield Town Center, formerly Springfield Mall. Let's go up to the upper level and see the, if the uh, sports collectible show is there. Going up to the Target as you can see, that's the Target. And, uh, that store is closed, but it's going to be a mattress warehouse pretty soon. Here's a store called Papaya. Papaya! <laughs> Records and rarities. That's a that's a nice store too. I might want to go in there later as soon as I'm done with the sports collectible show. <sighs> well, let's keep looking. Uh, where the hell are we? We are in the upper level by the Target. So we should be... Uh, over here somewhere, there's no you are here. Where is the grand, uh, the grand uh, place? I don't see anything here. Lower level, maybe? I'm just gonna have to keep looking. Um, I don't know. Still looking for the grand courtyard. Not downstairs, not over here. We'll keep looking. 
Well, I found the sports collector. Sports and clothes. It was smaller than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be the huge, a huge thing. But it's really not. Just a little tiny thing. Like this is it. We got here and there. And that's about it. Anyway, we'll look anyway and see what we can find. Well, that's it really. You don't have much. You have a lot of sports cards and toys and comics. Not really, not really too many uh, Redskins memorabilia. Unless there's more people over here by the Macy's. Hmm, maybe they're all over the place. You just kind of have to look around. Well, uh, I guess I didn't. Uh, really check to see what kind of sports collectibles they would have but it's not a complete loss I think I'll just go to the food court and uh, maybe eat some lunch because I'm really hungry as we go down to the center area here look at this There's the big tree in the center there here at Springfield Town Center uh, if I can remember because I used to work here too I lived in the area and I worked here for a few years and uh, they renovated the whole place so it's kind of hard to discern where the old uh, stores used to be. If I could find, I worked at a, worked at a place called, I worked at a steakhouse called York Steakhouse and it's here somewhere, I can't remember now where it was, where it used to be. There's the JC Penny right up ahead. Okay, here we go, let's go. I'm trying to find the place where I used to work. I can't remember if it was in the upper level or level or the lower level here. We're in the lower level now. Everything's kind of different now. And that was uh, 35 years ago. So it's kind of hard to recall where everything is, where everything used to be. Because as I mentioned, they did renovate this place sometime in the uh, early 2000s. I can remember where I used to work. I think this is where I used to work at Forever 21. Uh, not Forever 21. The, it used to be Forever 21, but there used to be like a little fire exit here on the side. Maybe it's upper level. Let's check out the upper level. Wait a minute, that's the Target. We were just at the Target. Now I'm confused. Now let's go to the upper level anyway. I think we were just there. Weren't we just there? I think we were. I think we were just here. Oh my god. Dude. Look at all these old school video games here at Records and Rarities. What did I used to play? Donkey Kong? There's Frogger. Street Fighter. Super Mario Brothers. There's an old Sega Genesis. I used to have one of those. I had those for a long time. I love that console. Sega Genesis, baby. Uh, this Foot Locker used to be a uh, used to be a steakhouse called York Steakhouse, and I used to work here. Different configuration back then. And I remember this uh, was this alleyway in the side where we used to take out the trash and see if the alleyway still. Here. Oh yeah, it's still here. Mm. I wonder if I can still open it. Oh, yeah, I can open it. Okay. Yeah, this used to be an alleyway. Used to lead right up to the... Uh, used to lead right up to where the trash is collected. Right. That's just a long hallway over there. This is a long... All the way this way. 
I wonder if it still leads up to the trash. Oh no, it's different now. I don't know where that leads to. Anyway, yeah. This used to be a different configuration, this hallway. There's one long hallway that leads right up to the, to the back of the mall where all the trash bins are. And that's where we would haul out the trash. I think this is the door that leads to to the uh, restaurant where I used to work called York Steakhouse. It's a Foot Locker now. Yeah, brings back a lot of memories. Okay, I got the mall. Okay, maybe I'll eat now because I'm hungry. I'll go to the go to the food court and maybe eat something. Let's go. Where's the food court anyway? I think the food court is to the left. So if we go to the left, we should hit the food court. There's a Starbucks. There's some more jewelry stores here. All right, I'm here at the sports store. Look at the mini helmet. It's $36.95 for a regular mini helmet. But this is the old Washington football team mini helmet and it's on sale for $20. I can easily convert it into a Redskin helmet because it's already got the right colors. Look at this. This is an old Washington football team mini helmet. It's on sale for $19.95. I could just take the decals off, put some stripes on, and it'll be a Redskin helmet. So already got the right colors, so I'll buy that. Okay, uh, let's go to the food court. I'm really hungry. If I can find the food court somewhere out here, I'll probably by the Macy's. Uh, I bought the mini helmet for twenty dollars each. I can convert it into a Redskin helmet and sell it for, for twice that. I probably can even just sell it by itself for twice that. But we'll see upstairs the Macy's up ahead I actually used to work at the Macy's this Macy's for a while and I you know I didn't like it very much I found out that it was then that I found out I didn't really like working at retail but I worked at this Macy's over here but yeah it was this very Macy's that I worked at and uh, yeah I just didn't like working retail too much. This is the Macy's where I worked. Just for a short while, not too long. Let's go find the food court somewhere. I don't know where it is. Somewhere down here is the food court. Uh, here's the food court, everybody. Looks like uh, the food court is buzzing with activity. There's a long line here at the Sarku. Oh my, I wanted to eat at the Sarku, but looks like there's a long line. Oh, oh, I don't, oh, I don't, I don't want to stand in that line. Let's see how busy the food court is. Food court is pretty busy. Maybe there's some other place I can eat. There's a Popeye, there's a grilled kebab. Little chef, Asian kitchen, chipotle. We're at the food court. There's a Sarku, there's a chipotle. And uh, Popeyes. Here's the rest of the food court, everybody. I think I'll eat here. Okay, I'm tired. I don't think I'll eat here at the food court. There's just too many people. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go somewhere where it's quiet to eat. Maybe somewhere closer to home. Or you know what? Maybe somewhere around here. I know there's a, like a fall place down the road there. Maybe I'll just eat around here. Since I am here, I'll just eat around here. Uh, where are we going down this way? Yeah. We'll go back out to the JC Penny and then we could find the JC Penny somewhere around here. This is like the back side of the mall. And uh, maybe I'll go eat somewhere else today, not the mall. All right, uh, I'm tired. A lot of people here. All I bought were the uh, mini helmets that I'm going to convert. Didn't really do any Christmas shopping for anybody else. Just Christmas shopping for myself. That's about it. 
And uh, yeah, let's go back to JC Penny and from there go back out to the parking lot and off to lunch somewhere here in Springfield. Somewhere. Um, okay, let's go to the JC Penny over here and head on out. Uh, while I'm here, am I gonna want to do anything else? No, I don't really want to go anywhere else. There's too many people, and uh, I'll just do my Christmas shopping maybe next week. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it in one place. Maybe go to Costco and just buy everything there. Look at this place. Socks to be you. Socks to be you, man. That's a great play on words. Socks to be you. Here's a gift shop. So there was a gift shop here. Here are the prerequisite massage chairs at the mall. Every mall has a massage chair. Now, do we go through the bottom level or the upper level of JC Penny? Uh, I think we went down to the bottom level. Here's uh, Dave and Buster's. It's a place where you can uh, like eat and uh, play video games and play, uh, you know, cable games. It's like a party place. But this JC Penny, this JC Penny is still here, but uh, JC Penny is almost bankrupt. I think JC Penny will be going out of business pretty soon. So let's see what they got before JC Penny goes out of business. I don't know, it looks better than Sears. But you know, it's the economy today, plus the pandemic. It just didn't didn't bode well for places like JC Penny unless they could, you know, adapt. Unless JC Penny could adapt to the changing economic times, then it won't survive. Uh, where's the exit? I think the exit's over here somewhere. The exit where we uh, where we came from. Yeah. Oh man, I don't want to stick around here any longer because they got music playing in the background. All right, let's go. It's a nice day today. I mean, it started off raining this morning but now the sun is out so it's a little windy there's that little hurricane again blowing these leaves around all the leaves and the trash anyway so uh springfield town center everybody formerly called springfield mall where i spent many of my formative years of youth the two youths. No, just the one youth. Just me. Yep. Brings back a lot of memories of being here again. I was here, when was the last time I was here? Maybe two years ago? I don't come out here too much because it's a little too far from where I live. But I just wanted to come out here just for, you know, just for old time's sake. And it's Christmas. I shouldn't have come out at Christmas. There was a lot of people. Maybe I'll come back when there's when it's not Christmas. Okay, let's uh, go have some lunch somewhere. I'm trying to decide where to have lunch. I'm trying to decide between now and when I get to my car. Okay, well, I decided to eat here at the fall place here in Springfield. I've always passed by this place when I would be here, and I always wondered what it was like the fall here. It's all right. It's good. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh. You're welcome. Thank you. My coke. Glass of ice. <sighs> okay. Well, there it is. The fall came in really quick. I don't think it was even five minutes. And it's hot too. It's really hot. And let it cool down a bit. This is my view, by the way. We got the games over here and a little strip mall here. All right, we're now having the pho. Oh, good stuff. Mm. 
good stuff. Oh, that was good. That was good for. That's probably the second best for I've had. The best for is still the one I I go to. I think nothing has beaten that for yet. Nothing so far. This is good. This must be the second best for.